coming into the penultimate round of this season, Nico Hulkenberg has announced his retirement from the sport. Hello and welcome to another episode of my F1 23. My team career mode here today for what could be a championship crowning weekend for Max Verstappen and our final sprint weekend of the season as well. But before we get to that, it's time for qualifying. We'll quickly get through here. Now we are flying here in Brazil and up to the line our first run and we're going second the fastest we're on the front row and we managed to find even more time but in the end we got an end up being raced by the car behind I couldn't quite see who that was but I as we got the hammer down there right behind us but they did back off they did it and we can see we've got purple in the middle sector, we come up to the line and it's only good enough for P2 again, another front row. So it is all about speed in today's sprint. Not very many laps and no chance to get ahead on strategy. Who here today has the raw skill to take them to the top? running through the drive the grid order for today's exciting sprint. George Russell will begin today's event in pole position and Brown completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid we have Hamilton, Perez, Verstappen, Leclerc, Sainz, Fernando Alonso, Norris, Ocon, Gasly, Oscar Piastri, Bottas, Sonoda, Magnussen, Hulkenberg, Joe, Stroll, Albert, Fittipaldi, De Vries, and Logan Sargent. And with preparations almost complete, let's head trackside for today's sprint. So we're starting on the front row. Pole position seems to be a curse for us. Can second be different? We're racing here in the Brazil sprint and we've struggled to get away a little bit from the face of Hamilton on our inside. We send it laid up the inside of George Russell into the first corner. George though holds around the outside. He had the inside line for turn two. We have the inside line for turn three. And we're up into P1. But George has his victory. He comes back at us. Up the inside goes George. And he retakes the lead. Our lead didn't last very long. Literally a corner. As now we head up towards the hill. At the top of the hill. We're going to catch George napping up the inside and we retake the lead and now the two Mercedes going well to Will Hamilton just ahead of George as we head now to the left to the hairpin. Hamilton on the inside, can he get the job done on his teammate? I think he has, yes he has. We lead the sprint, Hamilton is second for the second sprint in a row. We lead from starting on the front row. As now this is Hamilton in the Mercedes, this Mercedes are way too quick for our Lamborghini but it's, we're still going to defend with everything we have because it's still a potential 8 points and pole position for the race as well. We fend off Hamilton into the first corner but here he comes down the straight into turn 4, he's on the inside, we try and keep a pin around the outside but he is through his Hamilton but if you go back over the hill we've managed to get a good exit we've gone and took a wider line and that nearly allowed us to get around the outside of Hamilton but ultimately we've had to be left defending George here we have and we've stuck with Hamilton and we've gone up his inside and retaken the lead Hamilton though lap 7 this contact we nearly put Hamilton into the wall at turn one and there's more contact as we come back onto the track after being forced off of it by the earlier contact we've lost out to Hamilton we've now lost out to George as the two Mercedes go wheel to wheel into the first corner and George on the outside we're now looking for a gap we've been overtaking George we're on the grass as we try to keep it pinned around the outside of Hamilton but we couldn't but we're gonna send it up the inside late and retake the lead somehow from double contact 
with the Mercedes of Hamilton and it's just like it's on the first lap the two Mercedes going wheel to wheel we're, we're sprinting away George on the outside, Lewis on the inside and once again Lewis gets ahead of George as now we head up the pit straight this is George now up the inside of Lewis as that's the Ferrari of John Leclerc the Ferrari engines popped, he is out and the two Mercedes are battling away we've managed to pull a small gap for a little while we've gone wide though with hit the advertising board with hit also hit the 100 brake mark about there I think and we've dropped it, we've dropped it, we've hit George George is going to the side of us after we dropped it and George has lost positions, we've lost one position George has damage to his front wing and we're still second somehow this is an incredible sprint race as we go to the outside of Hamilton yellow flag from still the stricken Ferrari on the other lap and we stay ahead of Hamilton George is had to box unfortunately with that contact here's Hamilton back up the inside of us Hamilton's got us and so has Perez Perez on the inside we try to hold around the outside and we stay ahead of the two Red Bulls now we're still trying to get back up the Mercedes we tried the wide line he landed and covered off the inside Perez tries to get around the outside of us there and now Hamilton once again we're trying that wide line to then cut him back and go up the inside we had a little wobble on the exit of the corner we are back into the lead we should not be battling these cars but what have we got to lose we're not gonna make it easy for him Hamilton is through but we cut him back back up the inside of turn one we are leaving nothing on the line this is right on the limit we're on lap 11 of 17 through goes Hamilton through goes Perez we try and hold around the outside of Perez Hamilton's got us Perez has got us and we've also lost the gear more gearbox issues for the third race in a row as well as now we're battling the Red Bull back up the inside of Perez we go that's not the first time we've done that today we keep catching the AI out there and it is beautiful as now we head up towards the first corner we have the DRS on the Mercedes at towards the end of lap 11 on to lap 12 we can ascend it late we're not letting this gearbox issue hinder us we're still going to do everything we possibly can because now on the back of Hamilton the two red bulls are still there as well but we're lying up Hamilton but Hamilton got the gap on us and Perez is at the inside and we did fend off Perez now we're back on the back of Hamilton it's not like they're disappearing we have got the pace of these front runners because now this is us we're getting closer and closer and closer but we're not getting close enough but we are going to start the Talk race P2 yes. well Hamilton wins the sprint we did everything to try and win that I'm just happy we finished it just seems to be a pole position cards for us George unfortunately we've given it a long Sunday but yeah seven points let's go to the race welcome to where heroes and history are made it's where the 2008 title was decided in the final corner and just one year later Jensen Button stormed through from 14th on the grid to claim his one and only drivers championship it's time then for the Sao Paulo Grand Prix it's an unusual anti-clockwise race here at Interlagos where the Sao Paulo locals are packed into the grandstands at each of the 15 corners around this classic 2.7 mile circuit two very fast sections bookend the famous and highly technical sector two where getting a good run out of Yung Kao into one of the two DRS zones will be key to any overtaking prospects today. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. An immense lap from Lewis Hamilton yesterday puts him on pole position and Brown completes the front row. Considering the rest of the grid we have Perez, Verstappen, Sainz, Norris, Ocon, Gasly, Fernando Alonso, 
Sonoda, Bottas, Stroll, Albon, Fittipaldi, Joe, Sargent, De Vries, Russell, Oscar Piastri, Magnussen, Hulkenberg, Charles Leclerc completes today's grid order. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track where preparations are underway. Joining me for the Grand Prix once again is Anthony Davidson. The key now will be to keep in the right mindset. We've seen time and again that things go wrong if you just try and do the minimum. Not necessarily because of the pressure, but because it's different to your usual approach. They'll need to avoid that and stay focused today. So we are here on the grid then, and as you can see from the weather indicator, there is rain expected towards the end of the Grand Prix. So we're going to start on the softs, go to the mediums, and see if the pace from the sprint carries over to the Grand Prix. As now, as we line up on the grid in the second place, everyone in the background coming round hard at the start for those at the back. So here we go into the penultimate round, the Brazilian Grand Prix, and what could possibly be a championship defining day? We're racing here in Brazil, and we've got to make equal start compared to Lewis Hamilton. And he comes off the inside, we try and go to the outside. As we go through the center races, the Red Bull of Perez tried to get up our inside. You can see the championship to be for Max to start, just in the back there, we lose out to Paris, and we've lost out to the McLaren of London, Norris, we go side, to, side by side, with Paris, we try and get down the inside, we may overtake the McLaren, now, can we get our eyes set on back past the Red Bull, do what we did yesterday, in the sprint, and down the inside, we send a laser on Paris, we catch him out, he was already at the apex, can we get after Hamilton and Lando round the outside of Paris gets a job done. Paris tries to come back at him though into the turn one. And side by side, Paris on the inside for turn three. Side by side, who gets the traction? It looks like Paris may have just got the head. He has, and now Lando's gonna be swamped by the other Red Bull. In fact it was Max he was battling. As now Perez wheel to wheel Max is through. Perez now side by side with Lando on the outside, round the outside. Sergio Perez gets the position and now as we head up. Hamilton is gone, we just haven't got the pace of him today. Breaking into the first corner we go now and we have a massive wobble. Massive tennis lapper. We've lost out to both Red Bulls and they cost no contact with the Red Bull of Sergio Perez and now we've left ourselves vulnerable to the Alpine there of Gasly here we come back but we're off the podium we've, we've cracked under the pressure from the two Red Bulls and now this is Nico Hulkenberg on the day he announces his retirement from the sport he retires from his final Brazilian Grand Prix. There we got his pole back in the day. Up the inside we rover tank the Alpino of Gasly and Lando is sneaked back through. We don't need to worry about the top three now. Hamilton and the two rebels have bolted and Lando is past us. There's a Ferrari of Stein's trying to find his way through and they've mugged us there, both of them, Lando gets past, Sainz, <laughs> Sainz gets past me, they're both past me, as now we head down the second DRS zone straight, there is Sainz up the inside of Lando, the two former teammates going wheel to wheel, we now are on the back of Lando to try and get one of these places back at least, we keep it pinned to the outside, we can do that, but we go wide, we have a big tongue slapper, and we try to creep up the inside of the McLaren there, Sainz is gone, and so is pretty much Lando, but up the inside there goes Gasly in, in the Alpine as we make contact, with with Gasly there big contact as we made a little mistake and the tank slapper Ocon just found for his contact with his teammates as you can see our one gearbox as well there as we've won why we do what we did in the sprint but this time more costly into the side of us goes goes Ocon and 
And look on the website, I think that was up on And we have a red flag. It is all kicked off here. We've made contact with five foul pins there. We've got front wing damage. And it's our second red flag of the career mode. If you remember in Singapore, we caused that red flag as well. The rain night isn't far away, so we're going to start on the mediums. Here we go then to restart. The Brazilian Grand Prix is lights out and away we go. Can we get a good start? And there's another red flag. Don't know why there was no contact really. We made contact with the Aston Martin being caught out. But two red flags just like that. We're going to start. Restart the race. Is this third time lucky to the end of the Grand Prix? And we're racing here in Brazil for the third time. The two championship contenders, Hamilton and Max, are going wheel to wheel into the first corner. But look further behind, we're here somewhere as we're side by side now with the McLaren of Lando Norris. We couldn't gain the position further back, and the Alpines have fallen, unfortunately. It's Verstappen now, I do believe that is into the lead of the Grand Prix as we've run very, very wide off the track as we try and get heat into these medium compound tyres that will hopefully take us to when it's time to pit because the rain is coming in this race doesn't look like it at the minute as we battle Lando and we get ahead of Lando but the rain is coming we don't have the pace in the Ferrari, we don't know where all our pace has gone from the sprint race. We have no pace in this, in the actual race where the big points are unfortunately, and we are just going backwards, it just feels like it was all the way back in Bahrain, as we are we're just defenceless, but our car is a bit quicker now, but the inside goes Lando on as we try and hold it round the outside of our fellow Brit. Been off side by side into the kink. Lando backs out. We keep our foot in and we keep ahead. But Lando's made us look very stupid and cut us back and caught me out there. And Lando is through. And now here comes the Alpine. Normally I'd say he's not doing that to me and get away with it, but he is on this occasion because we just don't have the pace. Up the inside, we stay off the Aston Martin. And now side by side, nearly the two Astons behind. There's now Lando. He's gone now. He's on the outside. He's Alonso on it. On as he knows how to overtake. He's up the inside. We defend, but we managed to pull away from those behind. Stroll. I think there was some contact as well somewhere. And we've managed to get back on the back of Lando and gone straight round his outside and overtook him. I think these soft tyres are starting to go off for these and these mediums are starting to come alive. It's just took a couple of laps too many. But Lando is back past us there with the DRS heading down the straight. But he's getting very, very close now. You can see the clouds coming over as we send it laid up the inside of Lando. On lap 21, Lando goes his back. We have the inside line, but side by side. You can see the gap we've pulled on the Astons there briefly. As now we head down the back straight, we're getting closer and closer to Lando, but we're just not close enough there to do anything. But now I'm just a little bit further around. We're going to go late to the inside. And now we're going to do what we did many, many times in this video already. Up the inside. We're past Lando. But Lando's coming back at us. This is a very enjoyable battle. Back of the inside goes Lando. We try and cut him back. But we couldn't do that. It's now there you can see the first spots of rain to start coming down. You may have just seen in the corner on the lens. It's now into... This is a twisty second sector. You can see the rain now. That is coming down. And up the inside we tried to go there. But how hard is this rain meant to be? It is meant to be very hard. So we shall have to see.
It's now this is Piastri. Piastri in the other McLaren. His engine is popped and he is out of the Brazilian Grand Prix. Because now though the track is getting wetter. I don't think it's time just yet though for the inters, but I am hovering over the decision. Because now we're right on the back of Lando, we're going to the inside of Lando, up the inside of Lando, and we're ahead of Lando as well. Everyone on the medium tyres as well. So these medium tyres for us have just come alive, they weren't on the sauce. But I do think now this final sector, as you can see, is struggling to keep the car in a straight line. It is definitely time now for the intermediate tyres. Just a different uh, a lap mate, and it's not a particularly long lap round here. On the inside of this is Lando, but I'm going to box now for the intermediate tyres. I think it's time everyone else that stays out. So I hope we're time this right, but unfortunately, from the Ocon incident with the Alpine when he drove into the side of us, we have picked up a time penalty for that. So we better hope we've timed this right because we could quite easily gain these five seconds back from just the difference between Inters and and the dry tyres as our pit crew just disappeared into thin air there. But hopefully we can get these Inters up to speed quickly and we can gain back some of the time that we would have lost if this was just a normal pit stop. Hopefully these tyres will work as we get to the end of the straight now and let's just hope to get some heat into these quickly as possible. But these on the dry tyres are struggling so much we've caught the back of De Vries and we've overtaken De Vries just like that. So now this is, you can see the difference in the track from lap to lap and the track is way wetter now than it was when we boxed and into the pits comes those who we were fighting. Actually Lando has lost out to Alonso there somewhere as well. There's on to the Inters, they go right now with our 5 second penalty. The gap was 8 tenths between me and Lando coming out of um, the final corner when we boxed and through the first corner now what is the difference with our 5 second penalty included as we come out side by side with Gasly right ahead of Gasly and the gap is a second between me and Lando but we have actually lost two positions so in terms of our battle with Lando we've not actually lost anything bar a position which is the more important bit I know more than the gap but Hopefully we've got some pace on these inters as through goes Gasly on us and it might be hard for us to really overtake this now. The track is very wet and the rain is meant to get even harder soon. Is now lap 29. We were just on our own. We didn't have the pace of those in front and the rain is really coming down now. So as Mark says that Every rain expected and it was heavy but it wasn't there was no point boxing for the wet tyres as we actually ended up getting caught by those behind and the Clarys had a good recovery drive from from his DNF in the sprint and also George there but we were also nursing a gearbox issue as well for the third race in a row ever since the America Sprint, something's been going on, but Max Verstappen comes up to the line to cross it and win the Brazilian Grand Prix and his third world title. So to come down to B3, B2, Perez P3, has been really struggling now to keep the car in a straight line. It is so wet, it is full wet conditions on these intermediate tyres. As now as we head up to the hairpin, currently in P9, can, as we've got an issue, I told you we were nursing an issue, and here is the issue, we can't shift up, we can't shift up, and now 
as we crawl to the lion. Can we do anything here? Then the gearbox, we can't shift that. We've got gearbox issues through. Those the Mercedes will be trying to cling on to some points as we get closer and closer to the line. We've been mugged on the line and we've lost out. And so the celebrations begin and well earned they are indeed. It may have looked simple at times, but as any racing driver will tell you, competing at this level at the very top is anything but simple. There's no catching them now then. We have a new World Drivers Champion. Not just victory today then, but the championship as well. What a spectacular season they've had. And congratulations to the whole team. Anthony Davidson, how do you think they were able to set themselves apart today? Well, they clearly have a car that comes alive in the kind of conditions we were dealing with today. It's a very balanced package in the wet. And what that means is that the drivers have confidence to attack. And having that confidence gets you on the power earlier, it lets you brake later, and can put you a long way up the road. So well done to Max Verstappen then, three time champion of the world. Hamilton really took it to him on Mercedes in the second half of the season, but Max and Red Bull just had too much in the end. He lost the lead at one stage, he got it back and he never looked back. Max Verstappen, your 2023 world champion. We didn't get points in the end, P11 mugged on the line for the second time this season. If you remember back to Zambort, same happened with our teammate for the power and Albon but gutted. Started on the front row we had okay we didn't have the pace we had in the sprint but it was looking very very good this race for us in the early stages though we were going backwards a little bit but no points again. Lando's gone when I said that all the way back in Belgium I thought we may have a chance but one race to go it's all over. It was over a long while ago but he has to sit in the constructors so Red Bull can't wrap with the constructors till next time out in Las Vegas when we go there for the first time and Alvatari is still yet to score this season i hope you enjoyed this video i think that's the best race of the career mode so far we tried to cling on we had a good sprint we had a shot at one in the sprint we couldn't convert it and we went back within the race and two red flags and some rain always give you a good race we head to las vegas next for the first time and the final race of the season goodbye